2019 in 6 minutes, a quick recap of every announcement from the event. It started with an amazing cinematic for Diablo 4, featuring a summoning ritual for Lilith, the daughter of Mephisto, the Lord of Hatred and one of the three primevals, helped by her son, Ratma, a first-generation Nephilim. The game will return to its darker and more brutal roots with more blood and gore, occult symbols and a medieval version of Hell. In the gameplay trailer, they showed three classes, the Sorceress, the Barbarian, and the Druid. But there will be five classes at release. The date is currently unknown, maybe it will be in 2 years to be 10 years since Diablo 3, or maybe it's sooner. It will have an open world with 5 regions with day and night cycles, and for the first time, mounts. Then they talked for about 2 minutes about Starcraft 2 and Heroes of the Storm, in Starcraft announcing Arcturus as the latest co-op commander, and deep AI that you can't beat, and in Heroes of the Storm we already knew Deathwing will be the next hero, and all heroes will be free for a while. Next, J. Allen Brack said the thing. You think that you want this, and I think maybe that you do. And Ian announced Phase 2 for Classic WoW, that will introduce world bosses and the PvP honor system to come out in about two weeks. Shadowlands, the next WoW expansion, was revealed with an epic cinematic of Sylvanas beating Bolver's ass. He may be a weaker Lich King, but that seemed quite easy. Her boss must be insanely powerful. She takes his helm, thinks about putting it on, but she can't because of her ears, so she just breaks it. Opening a portal to the Shadowlands, the realm where the dead go and the source of the Scourge. This will introduce four new zones, A covenant that you can pick out of four for unique rewards, abilities and traits and the covenant campaign. New dungeons and raids of course and the Tower of the Damned. A harder solo or party roguelike gameplay place that's ever changing and endless with great rewards. Bolvar will aid us as a sort of a Khadgar and he raised every allied race to fight Sylvanas so every race can be a death knight now with new races and pandas having a new starting zone. Apart from that, a ton of amazing changes that people have been asking for years are happening, no more artifact power grinds, less RNG in gear with you being able to pick the loot you want from weekly chests, legendaries are back but not randomly obtained, more class identity instead of spec identity with more spells made class-wide, leveling reduced from 120 to 50 and going to cap at 16 Shadowlands, and you can level up to 50 anywhere while also making each level more rewarding and finally a revamp of the character customization adding more unique options to all the old races. And I will set us all free. Hearthstone announces yet another expansion, Descent of Dragons, Galakrond Hero Card, with a new invoke mechanic and a new game mode Battlegrounds, an 8 player mode similar to auto chess games like Teamfight Tactics. Now we are in business. And finally Overwatch 2 is revealed with an amazing cinematic and then a gameplay trailer. Monsieur, 
Does this mean Overwatch is back? Yes. Yes, we are. This will work together with the original Overwatch, meaning that you can play PvP from Overwatch 1 with people from Overwatch 2 and also the new maps and heroes. But if you get Overwatch 2, your collection will transfer so you won't lose your skins, as well as story missions, visual updates to the maps and heroes, and co-op PvE missions alongside the regular PvP, as well as hero story missions, and you'll be able to level up your heroes and customize their talents and abilities. There will also be a new game mode where Blizzard pushes the payload because no one else does it, new maps for PvP, and new heroes. That concludes pretty much every big announcement from BlizzCon. Overall, this was one of the best ones so far. Really looking forward to the next WoW expansion improving the game. Even if I think Bolvar was defeated quite easily and it's strange that we no longer have a Lich King. Diablo 4 looks amazing and I miss playing Diablo and Overwatch 2 seems really cool as well. Let me know your thoughts and your favorite game from the event and I will see you soon. Bye bye.